I've worked at the National Kidney Foundation for two and a half years. We work in advocacy, in research, in patient support, and try to do whatever we can to help kidney patients and the people who love them. I talk to people from the federal government quite a lot so that they can incorporate the patient voice into public policy in the United States. We have over half a million on dialysis and almost 100,000 people that are waiting for a kidney transplant. So the wait for a kidney transplant, depending on where you are in the country, can be three years or it can be up to eight years. And I interact with patients every day and I know what it is like for people to wait for a kidney transplant. There are people every day who die while they're waiting for kidneys. So for me, it was a really easy decision to donate a kidney. I was a non-directed donor, meaning that my donation did not have an intended recipient and I could help one person right now. She wanted to be one of those givers. It reminds me of the incredible kindness, the incredible humanity that exists in our world that sometimes you know, doesn't receive enough press, particularly for someone that comes forward like Miriam as a non-directed donor. We place all of those individuals into the national system. Um, a non-directed donor is a national resource, is a national treasure. And one donor is often able to begin a chain of donors and recipients to sometimes allow for even more than one transplant to happen. And so increase opportunities for patients to receive the gift of life. So the day of surgery, I honestly was not afraid at all. I just felt really joyful and grateful. And my surgeon was Dr. Gesemian. He was incredibly kind to me and clearly extraordinarily competent. I felt completely confident in his hands. The surgery was extremely smooth. Dr. Cooper was there by my bedside as I woke up and he told me that my kidney was in the air going to Arizona and that they had spoken to the recipients team in Arizona and they were really excited. So that was a really special thing to wake up to. It was one of the happiest days of my life. So I would encourage anybody to do it. I found living donation to be an incredibly life-affirming and positive experience. I have talked to lots of other living donors in the context of my work and while I don't want to speak for every living donor, I can say that it seems like most people have really positive experiences and so I would really encourage anybody who's considering living donation to look into it. Um, it's a really special process and the cost to you as a living donor is very, very small and the benefit to somebody else is immense.